Right, I am back. And as you can see, or where, where is it? There. Yeah, the, uh, the, there. Yeah, I've loaded. We have the direct version of the PDF turned into a code or document. Now, if you do that, you can kind of see the way PDFs combine things to make a PDF. It's made of lots of weird little pieces, you know, so you can move words and bits and pieces around. Obviously, all of that colour, you know, that just crap. We don't want any of that. <sighs> Love the... You know, let's actually put the whole thing back. What we'll do is we'll do this and move the whole thing to one side. And I assume that the page layout is going to measure the same as my BC 1000 one. So let's, uh, is that it? There we go. So if I open that, um, you know, whatever, I just open. Do I just a new version of Coral and it's then going, oh, I recognize these fonts. What's going on? Yeah, coral files can be rather large. Large. Right, so the page of the paper, 154 by 216. So this is, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. 154 by 216. 154 by... 216. Why is this? What? Not 2168, you stupid idiot. Wow, why is this so big? So every page is going to be massive. Insanely, insanely massive. Okay, well, that's fine. You know, we can just resize things to the correct size. So, what I need to do is. So, have I added on the bleed margins yeah probably so let's bring us some rulers <coughs> so three mil i believe i'll just copy that shut that away a minute so is that three mil is that going to be three mil where's the ruler gone there. so let's just do that is this box three mil yes so that's three mil fine so it's three mil all round, and that gives us the bleed margin. That can go back in place, but we will copy that because we need that colour. So we'll dump that colour in place, place it in place, and we'll get our little box. So three mil by twenty mil. This doesn't have to be exact because this is what they call the bleed margin. So anything over the bleed margin might not be printed so it's like a it's like a safety net basically and then let's put this in this corner again it doesn't have to be super super accurate it's just so that you know to stay away from putting anything in these i mean it probably will print it probably isn't really good enough in the printing world because if it's important you want to make sure it's going to be there right so and anything outside of this exterior line won't be printed. It's, it's, it's just not there. The, the page is what matters. So I know now that anything inside these lines is what I've got to aim for. So if I make this the same size as here, if it matches these, so if I did a lot of ruler there, oh, a ruler here, this box has to be between these lines on the page. Make sense? And then I can obviously measure that if I want to and make sure it's bang in the middle. Well, we we'll aim for the dead centre. That's the that's the easiest way to do. So as this one is completely a complete fucking mess, what I will do is I will copy that. So can I close that? Yes, close that. No. And we will lob it into... Hey, come on. No lob it into here. See the way it's almost in the right spot. We can just do some little tweaks. Boom, boom, boom. 
and we'll make it resemble that. So, which isn't that difficult to do, as you see, we've got pretty much the right text. We can just dump a, a ruler in here, a ruler in, do you get? There's lots of copy and uh, copy and pasting and undoing in this. So we'll make sure that the water, yeah, I mean, it, the water pump was slightly off. Am I gonna bother? No, let's get the TM. There, and it's TM. 35, have I got a restricted? Oh, how come this one wasn't restricted, but the other one is? Uh, and it's just lines. No, it's not, it is a box, good. So we'll budge that up a little bit. Oh, it's got an, an inner and an outer box. Okay. Okay, that's fine, we can do that. Five, three, six, A, comma. Again, I'm ignoring the font because we know it doesn't look like that in real life. This is the way it's just taken the letters as text and used any font which is available, which is usually oops, uh, a very basic font. 536B. Do you know what we need to do? I should actually have that original one open as well so that I can see it. Uh, 235, 235. There we go. If I put that, wow, yeah, it's ridiculously big, isn't it? Uh, view, 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 view. Share was fit to actual size. No, actual size is no good, is it? Fuck me, because it's monstrous. I just want to zoom out. Fit height. There we go. Right. So that's what it should look like. They're not. I don't want to extract anything, shut up. Stupid thing. So that's so I'm gonna move this over to the page that shows me so that I can you don't need to see it. You've seen it now. You know what it looks like. I can always bring it across if I need to show you what it looks like. Okay. So I bugger off too. <coughs> now once I'm all squashed in on that, let's just bring it in a little bit. How much space have we got either side? Not a lot. About. Oh, we need a comma yet. Comma. Is that the right font? Yeah, that looks good. It's funny how quickly this just comes to comes to fruition. So let's copy that. Whack that there for a minute. Put the C in it. Capital on. And write and. And then we'll move it to the right place. The thing about Coral is nothing's permanent. You can just move, bend, angle, and do, you know, in nothing, there's no lines like in Word where, you know, it's all, you can't see it, but it's all fixed to position. Coral, nothing is permanent, nothing. You can just move it around as you need to. So the C is about between the comma and there, and the A is, A is, well, actually it says sets. So, oops, we need to squeeze that in as well. Where is that? There. A of this is between the T and the S. It's about there, and the C is there. Right, and it's not June, it is the best month. Oh, cat off is still on. May. Oh, wait. Um, May 14. So I want to put May 9th. Not quite in a line, is it? Zoom in. Is it in a line in that? Yes, it is. About there? Yeah. Okay, so we have a cover. And the next page is incorrect because after the cover we have the inside cover which is that <laughs> exciting right oh my god this is insane um let's go back here oh shit. what the what oh come on don't fuck up like oh yeah because oh god 
because everything's too big. Are you fucking kidding me? We can get rid of that. This is going to fuck up if I don't do page by page, isn't it? Two. Right, I need to go through and make each one the right size. Or it's going to go fucking mental. Because it only loads the content around the page the first time you go in. So like now, it will load. I think the next page, it will double over. Because anything outside of the page in the centre will appear on every single page. So if I wrote cheese here on this page, on page three, every page I go to, the cheese will be there. Which is great if you want to have something like restricted at the top of every page. You can then just have it and move it into place. Not great when you flip through the pages initially and it then combines all the crap from every page. Because these aren't one block of text. It's many, many, many small components. Uh, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's, there's things over there. There was things you can't see in Coral. Did you see? This can be slight, quite time-consuming, but there's nothing difficult about this at all. So if you have Coral and you have a, have a brain, or half a brain, you know, we're doing this hobby. Uh, this shit is easy. I mean, yeah, you learn lots of neat little tricks the more you do this. But, yeah, it's fucking easy. It really, really is. <clears throat> and as I said, the more people that do this, the better it will be for everybody in the hobby. We will have manuals of every type that we want. There's no point loads of us all doing the same manuals. Let's not fight with each other, let's help each other, let's help the hobby. Interesting. So now we've got a sideways jobby. So you can never remember which way is which when you turn things with degrees. So that ah, that's interesting. Oh, I hate it. How do you turn the page round? Uh, switch page orientation. No, not with that. Fuck's sake. Switch page orientation. Good. Just check it didn't do every single one. What are you doing? Why are you happy? Whoa! Yeah, it can still do weird shit, Coral, from time to time. Also, it's a good idea to save every now and again as well. Because sometimes Coral Draw can just disappear on you. I mean, when that shit happens, you want to launch the fucking thing out the window. 502, reenacting. Field manuals, 11, yeah, my folders. Uh, so it is it's TM11 for Signal Core 235, 1943. Right, am I not in the right folder? No. Save. It may take a while because a lot of these pages are still Fucking massive. And once you've got, you've added, you know, your inside cover that they won't have scanned because it's blank. Uh, the two, well, the back cover and the inside back cover. If it's an odd number of pages, you need to add in the right amount of blank pages, which could be anywhere from one to three. Because um, otherwise it won't be printable because, you know, you need to account for every 
blank page of paper as well. All the printers will just be going, what the fuck is this? I can't print this. You know, every page of paper has two sides. You can't expect them to have a special one-sided page of paper just for you. <laughs> oh, that was a quick save. Okay. Um, right, let's continue to shrink this down. If only you could fast forward this, eh? If only I could fast fucking fast forward it. The other way? No. <laughs> Ninety. Thank you. So with things like that, you can always tell which way around it goes because. There's usually a page number somewhere at the top or the bottom. Ah, there you go, page number 32. So, why is it so? Something out there? That right, little dot. I so, said little things, you can't see them. But it could just be the tiniest little black dot. <clears throat> yawn, yawn, yawn. So I did get an exciting parcel earlier from Matt's, uh, I want to say Plant, but I'm sure that's not his surname, um, Matthew his actual name is, uh, Mail Call Militaria, fucking awesome guy who gets some <laughs> incredible bits of Militaria. I got two rubberized gas mask bags, one the Normandy type with the four tiny, tiny, tiny little press studs. And then the later type with the three press the dot ones, and they are beside me. And when I get, when I can't bear to shrink any of this shit down anymore and have a break, I'll uh, get the box which is on the floor next to me. Because they are they are worth seeing originals of. Because most people only see the, um, well either in museums where you can just see the front, or reproduction ones, and you know what? There are some differences between them. Shocker, right? Shit. There we go. You've got to be careful to get everything. I don't pictures, this is loose text. Yeah, this is going to be a fucking ball lake doing this one. Hmm, I'm not going to enjoy this at all. I'll tell you that. For free. Shit. Why has it done it as loose text? Ugh. God. Well, that's a nice page of it. Look at this shit over here. That. What? That's good. That's good. And sometimes it just makes gobbledygook out of fucking nothing. There. What is that? That's a little. What is it? It's a. Can't just be at one little. I don't know. There's two little dots. I know I can't go around anymore. Shut up. So you I mean effectively, if you zoom right out, all of this is workable area that you can put things in, draw things, build things. I mean, the the, the power and the freedom with coral is fantastic. It is a very, very clever bit of software. But it's been done in such a simple way and it's so user friendly that any Muppet can use this, as proven by myself. I 
remember when I first got Coral Draw, which was, well, a really old version of Coral Draw. I think it was like Coral Draw 7 or 8 or 9 or something. I can't even remember what number it was. It was a really, really old one now. Um, I used to write all my letters in it. I used to do everything in it because it's just so easy to do whatever you like. Get away, fly. Doors open. Oh, I'll try and get halfway, then I'll look at those gas mask bags. Because this is fucking soul destroying. I mean, this must be amazing to watch. Day in the life of Dan McKay. While well, he moves things around in Coral Draw. But I would still much rather sit and do this than have a fucking 9 to 5 job that I hate. Had them before, I'm not having one again. Because the beauty of this is you can do it once, and once it's done, you can sell it for the rest of your life. Of course, there's not like a billion, billion people out there that are going to want it, and it's not going to make you a multi-millionaire. However, you will get a few quid from each one for yourself, and deservedly so. What you do is go, right, I've run out. Mr. Printer, print me another batch. And that always leads me on to the subject of, oh yeah, you can't buy that book anymore, that book's out of stock. Why the fuck is that book out of stock if people want it? Print more. Print more, you lazy dickheads. No book should ever go out of stock. It makes no sense whatsoever. Get to 50, which is halfway. And then we'll look at them things, because I'm about reaching my limit. I need a break. <coughs> Pretty sure I need to reorder the uh, BC 1000 manual. I've sold out almost again. It's funny the ones that sell more than others. You would have thought something like FM 21100, the basic field manual, would sell more. No, the one I sell the most of is the radio manual. <laughs> and it's not even the most popular radio. Strange. It's a nice radio, don't get me wrong. There's not even a reproduction of it as well. Well, you can sort where you can get the the British made a copy of it. I think it was Army Field Set thirteen or thirty one. I can't remember which it was, which was based on the BC one thousand. And the French obviously had their own version of it. So they can be you, know, you can purchase one of those and convert it. I guess is oh I've gone past the limit okay um, and I'm waffling about fucking radios page 73 so page 73 is actually 54 and I've noticed this before they have a strange way of numbering pages oh no 50 oh there we go so yeah we're a page out so what is it yeah, I think I'm like 73 maybe di diagram no it can't be diagram 73 can it I need to add a page anyway because of the second page. Right. Let's hit save. And then Oh, I can tell you his name, can't I? Should be on the should be on the form. 
Mail Call Militaria. Oh, it is Matthew Platt, not Grant. Sorry, man. Oh, I do have a strange smell to them. Right, let's, let's make me bigger for a minute so you can see these uh, these things. What the hell is wrong with the... Oh, I was looking at the mouse on the other screen as opposed to on this screen, right? Fusion through this. Why do not just why can't I just double click to make it full size? I don't even fit, do I? Uh, I'll go there. Right, there we go, that's close enough. So let's do the let's do the, the Normandy one first. So this this is the box that came. Skinny little long thing. And here we go. So the four proper type. And what struck me straight away is how small these poppers are compared to the the reproduction ones. I mean, oh, there's a button from a forty one jacket, and it's you know it's it's smaller than those. Actually, I've got my at the front repro to hang. He's at the front ready pro, so let's actually let's have a look. Ooh, you know what? The press does it. The poppers are actually the same size. It's only because they're shinier they look a bit bigger. Yeah, wow, they are. Oh, oh yeah, that way. So let's have a look and see how so it unravels to a couple of folds, and inside you tend to have some, some extra stamping. So there is a that is, a, that is a two upside down. Um, that's on both sides where it's been stuck together. There's a, a C and a U in there as well, a bit further down in red. You know, where the rubber's gone crunchy along the, the seam to strengthen it. Yeah. Uh, and there's the text you, you see Army. Assault gas mask with the U and the U mask and the chemical, what I would call ram's horns, but they're not, are they? There, I don't know why that's supposed to be some sort of horn, and then the odd straps, right? So, a pair of one that way, and then a really, really, really long one with a standard, you know, clip sort of thing you see on musette bags and everything. Not really, it doesn't really billow, it just has a sort of triangle of extra material. It's a very, very simple design. So, let me have a look in comparison. What's the obvious differences between the at the front one? Stitching along this band. Has stitching all the way along. So now, in the original, there is no stitching. I assume it's it's stitched down the very edge, down there. There's nothing going across. It must just be bonded with glue. Is anything on the inside? Yeah, it's it's, it's glued in. So you've got a couple of extra rows of stitching. In fact, there seems to be quite a lot of extra rows of stitching because along the front you've got a big panel there that's all stitched. There is no stitching there at all on the original one. Well, I don't know why it's there. It has two big squares of rubber on the inside. Um, which... On the original, there is no random big squares so I was a bit confused as to why why that's there there's also around the poppers you can also see another big rectangular the stitching but on the original there's nothing there's nothing like that at all maybe maybe there were ones that had it like that but this one certainly doesn't um Let's have a look at the straps. What do we get? So we get 
Yeah, the elephant one's a tiny bit longer. And the fold is on the other side, but, you know. Um, the buckles, similar-ish. Um, what about length, I mean? Well, I would want the repro to be a little bit longer, to be honest. Which it is. Which it is. But obviously, we are bigger. So, if we want to wear these things, well, you know, like the way the uh, guys coming in on the beach wore them. You'll need them a bit longer to fit bigger people. Um, markings are very, very clear on this. And it's it's quite it's quite accurate compared to that one. That one's faded and you know rubbed, but it's not quite as pukey baby shit yellow as the original. But again, I'd imagine that the paint ages strange ways. There was possibly different shades of paint. Um, so not a concern. Right, what about the side? Again, there's more st there's more stitching. It, it, there's a square here from something on the inside. Whereas the original, there's nothing. It's just nothing there at all. Hmm. Hmm. And on the back of the... Back of the flat, what have we got? So we've got one row of stitching that's correct. The envelope at the top. I'm going to call that an envelope, if you see what I mean. That's good. Down the bottom you've got... There. You've got... An envelope at an angle, right angle, sorry. Oh, well, excuse me, a right angle to the side, and then some little diamond. And the original just has an envelope at an angle. There's no. So there's lots and lots of extra stitching. Like, a lot. On this, which gives it some spring, some big rectangle on the front, big rectangle on the back, a rectangle along the poppers. Two big lines along there. What about the opening? Because the opening on this. Okay, yeah, the opening is yeah, similar. And this one is very, very supple. It's it's you know it's it almost feels like really, really old leather. It, it, you know, it bends, it flexes, it's nice. The leather's been cared for, not dried out mank. And this is very, very stiff. But how this would have been originally, I'm not sure. So it could have, could have felt like this. Apart from the stitching, they're very good. Which I thought they were. So I can't say I'm surprised by that. Yeah. It is only all those extra rows of stitching that's a bit odd. Because in the inside it is just, it's just extra material. You can't see, it's just shiny black plastic. Um, no, you can't see, sorry. Well, behind the big bit of big rectangle of stitching is a shape of this material to the back which you know I sort of understand behind the poppers to strengthen it maybe but then there's this big rectangle here that there's nothing behind it the inside there's a giant patch on the other side there's a giant patch I don't know maybe some examples were exactly like this I don't know I'm not going to even pretend that I do well the poppers line up oh yeah, the slightly out on the edges, but yeah, they do they do okay. And also, once they do it, they are very very good waterproof bags. Great for keeping your spare socks and your wallet and your phone and all that shit in for a weekend. Lob it in here, chuck it in your tent. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So yeah, there's my original Normandy style. Assault gas mask bag. Let's just put him to one side for a minute. Because obviously he's male. Uh, what is that? Can you get the later type? Which is sort of intriguing. Uh, so it comes with the three press the dot ones. And 
I had a repro of these years ago and it did not have, this piece was basically on the end of this opening. So I was quite surprised to see this flap is like a manufactured extra. So then you get the opening and, in, and again, there's markings all over it in different places, a big D is there in, you can see in there. There's J45, which could be January 45, but I wouldn't have thought you'd mark it just with a J because there's three months that will start with J's. Um, so it could be J4, 5, uh, who knows what that is. You also got, is that an M? M. So first I thought, can you just see the yellow here? It's hard to pick up what it says, but it's, I thought it was a smudge of the main, you know, the US thing on the middle. But you've got in a circle, an H. Underneath that, I can't read what it says, but on the top of that, you've got an, a capital M and then a it looks like a capital T. Now, they're much bigger than all the other words, so it's not a smudge mark, and that's actually stamped on there. Intriguing. <laughs> and there's just, there's just things on the straps. Uh, nothing on those two straps. And when I said on the straps, I was just mean I'm going to check the straps for things. Just looking to see if this one has the uh, the stitching around it, like the other one, in case that's where they copied it from. But no. And again, there's like a, a B in the back. Again, inside has the extra. Now this one has extra panel stuck inside it, but they, again, they're, everything's glued in. Pots folded over and sewn. It's really hard to show black. Uh, oh, there we go. Get it in the light from the natural light from the window. Um, <clears throat> again, exactly the same straps, exactly the same buckles. What about the doing up bits? So, actually, that's interesting. On this one, we have the envelope and a little triangle. Oh, on the other side, we just have the envelope. So if you sort of combine the two, I guess the stitching's like the front one. I do like the way it closes. Dots aren't marked, you know, pressed to open or anything weird. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, both come up for sale on mili um, Mail Corps Militaria. And as soon as I saw them, I thought, yep, I'm having those. I don't care what they cost. But thank you, Matt, again for supplying me with more fantastic militaria. I have had some amazing pieces of him. In fact, the... British-made officer tunic in the background was from him. There's quite a few bits around the office which came from him. There's a... Third Division Officer's Ike Jacket over there, chocolate one. Uh, oh, fuck. I think it's Austrian made. I can't remember without checking. And the patch on the shoulder is Italian. Um, but, yeah, gorgeous thing. So he does get some amazing, amazing items. Anyway. Nope. I forgot to get rid of me. But you all wish you could do that at times, don't you? Um, all right, let's carry on moving some of this shit around so I don't really want to start on the next part of this until I've done this because well you saw at the start how messy things get yeah this is going to be a really really slow boring one to do even in the next stage because all of these pages are going to have to be rewritten <coughs> and trust me that ain't much fun Up there. Huh. It's like an invisible background of a page. 
Such a shame we didn't count these as pictures. Oh, God's sake. I would like to be able to show you how easy it is when the whole thing is one picture. And you just need to click on it, make it grayscale, and all like the scan marks of the shadowing of the paper, like this down this side. You make the whole, you make it light as you can without losing anything important, and then you can make it to black and white because anything that isn't then white will instantly be black. So any text, even if it's a lot lighter and grey, it will suddenly be black. So you've got all that weird shading, all that discoloration on the pages. It gets rid of all that in one go. Sometimes you still have to cut around some of the the weird the weirdness. If I made that black and white now, all of that grey, even the lightest grey, will be black instantly, just be black. So you have to sort of cut it out manually. Which you know, it's not the end of the world, but if you can do it in one easy hit by going grayscale, lighten, and then black and white. You can hammer through some of these, some of these things, even if it's like 200 pages, you can do so, so quickly, as long as it's been scanned in well, and is effectively a picture rather than a whole shitload of text. Table of replaceable parts. Oh, no. Sorry, I wonder how many people actually read the manuals from front to back when they get them. Most nobody. A lot of them are fucking dull as dishwater. Just. They're written in such a sterile. Sterile manner and fashion. They're just, they're just painful to read. The only sort of exception to that, I guess, is um, twenty one thirteen, which is Army Life. Because it seems to be really written for the fresh, the fresh recruit who uh, is still in his civilian ways and will probably not learn. The same way, the same sterile way as a uh, soldier been in the service for a while would. Uh, that sort of sh that sort of comes across in the style and the writing of the manual. And what is the way? Check if the crap might be on every page. No. What is the time? Quarter to three.
page that is. I wish there was a, a function in this where you could do the same thing to every page. Like select all, shrink all to the size of the page. Like that would be <laughs> the ideal. All oh, right, that is the last page. Right, good. Jump to the start. Full screen. Okay, so insert page after. Copy, paste. Right, two pages are done. <laughs> so, so we need to make this fit as close to the original page size, so we know what we're working with. So it's roughly about that. My God, this is a mess. So we can use this. Crap down the side, this is all shit for me to do. Good. Now, why have we got a Chinese symbol here? Oh, look at it scanned in, look that he thinks that's a, an I as opposed to. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be a ball, eh? Where's the first page on this one? So it's. Ah? Oh, I see. <sighs> right. Now I might make a decision here not to do it this way. Because to tidy up one page, you've got to lay it all out in the right place, get rid of all the strange little things like that dot, and then, oh, you bastard. And then, oh God, it's not even all the same. If it was all in the same box, you could, yeah, look, so that's hex is essentially the same box, but depending doesn't, that's the same box, that's its own box, time in its own box, and in its own box, materials, capture. So that's for example, if I just copy, highlight all of this, and then guess that that is the right sort of font, it's not because it's bold that's probably very close we still end up with all these stupid spaces and i would then have to jiggle it all around you can see how time consuming this could be or i create a text box that would fit the page and then dump it all in yeah this is not a viable way of doing it so as another way of doing this, I'll delete all this just to show you. I will do a print screen. I won't because it doesn't want to let me do it. Okay. Function, print screen. Ah, there we go. And. I'll do at, uh, which is me snipping the page, dump it into here, anything will do, file, save as, JPEG, and this will be the way I was explaining a minute ago, because that's not viable. So let's just save it as one, because it's page one. Let's keep paint open. Now, to bring things into corals, great. You can literally drag and drop. So where's one? There we go. We just throw that in there. Oh, you stupid thing. Why have you gone on that screen? <sighs> if I get it back on the right screen, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. But it's having an absolute, almost a spaz attack. I'm not supposed, I'm supposed to say that anymore, am I? Because... God forbid the snowflakes of the world might cry and melt. Right. There we go, we're back. So, where's the goddamn file? 
I put it in the wrong. Uh, oh, so I put it in the wrong thing. Okay, that's fine. Copy. No, it is in this one. Yeah. So there is the screenshot of that page. Now it has bits of this in it, but that's fine. We don't. That's fine. We can hit this, and then we can just chop it out. And there's then lots of blank because you know I have extra monitors, so it likes to bring those in. And we can lose any of the extra pointless crap which you could be just be sat in the white. So there we go. So that's got us that. So okay, hopefully that made sense as to how I did that. So see these little smudges? No, they wouldn't have been on the original. They are from the scanning in. So we go. Uh, where are we? Adjust, and we make it. So we need the contrast and the intensity. Sometimes, which way is the intensity? Sometimes bringing the intensity up can help. Ah, wrong way. Sorry. So we make it. We don't want that. That's it. We don't want that background. We make it a lot lighter, and those little marks should have gone. And a couple of little bits. Okay. So then when it's done that, we go bitmaps mode black and white. And this is when it will reveal if they're there or not. Oh, what's it done? That's not good. That's not good. Why has it done that? Hmm, okay. So that's not quite what we want. So we can go back. Many different ways of doing it. You can. If they're easy to get to on the edges, you know, you can just chop around things. So anything that's in there, so that one now will be gone. Uh, we can get that one quite easily by doing that. But again, it's more time consuming than just click, 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 done. See, so you can, you can chop them out that way. So we don't have the page number because it's lost it with the uh, easy enough to do. We can just get text, boom, not Arial. Uh, the thin one, we do a one. And it's, well, we can do this stupid thing with this down here. And it is right. At the bottom of the page. I mean, it's not quite at the bottom of the page, so this needs to go up a little bit. It might be a bit big actually. Boom. That's about there. Is that the middle? So it's 160 across, so that's about 80. Perfect. And that needs to be up a bit more. That looks very much like the first page. Not that I didn't get to show you the uh, technique I like to do. Well, print screen. Right, page two. Let's just see if this will work better. Ah, oh, yes. File, save as, to, save, close down. Oh, can I not just in... <sighs> Two, dump. Yeah, it could, right, it didn't look stupid as last time. So, two is actually page four. Yeah, I mean, look at the layout. The way it's laid it out just by changing all the font and things, it's just what a mess. What a mess. So I just delete things as simple on this. Gone. So we put that in there. Right, right. Page number to be in the same space on every page. So that one's there. 
click to the next page. There. Um, and at the right space. So let's make it match this one. So we know that one is the right size. Okay. And does it have a type? Do they all have a type of bar? Do they all have a number? Right. So that number will always be in that space. So then when I size it, if I've got the original picture, I can put the number in there and the stink at the bottom. They will all be the right size. So we have to make an adjustment for the margin. Can you imagine that the big margin bit that folds over in a book? Let's grab a field manual so you can see what I'm talking about. We have this margin here, this edge. Well, when you open it, you don't get to see into there. If you look at the side, you lose that much space. So you have to take that in consideration and pretend the page is further over one way or the other way, depending if it's a right or left pagination. So we imagine that down here, you lose some space. So it's just shunted over a little bit. It doesn't have to be rocket science, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to take that into consideration or you'll find that your pages never look like they're in the center, even though they're not in the center now, it will look more like they are because you've accounted for that little margin. As I said, you learn lots of weird things when doing this. Odd little blemish, but do you know what? I can live with some of them. I mean, a couple of them like really easy to get rid of. Right, put that there, put that there, and that can get rid of those. Boom, done. Let's bring that over, gets rid of that one. Don't particularly like that one or that one, so you know that's them out of the way. <laughs> There's nothing on that edge, we'll bring it right in. There's not. <clears throat> See more of the, the emptiness you get rid of, the more blemishes will go. But you don't have to be exact, you can even make the lines go over each other, it's just, you know, it doesn't matter. Because these, these lines, these blue lines, will not be here. And uh, these, little, these little blemishes like that, I mean, if you really, really, really look closely when it's printed, you would see it, but you'd have to look extremely closely. And who the hell in their right mind? is going to be reading things like that and spotting them anyway. You really need to get a life if you're seeing things like that. Yes, that's a much better way of, of doing it, much more time consuming. Because you could spend hours and hours and hours rewriting the entire thing from Word, laying it all out perfectly. And you would spend a monumental amount of time doing it. Yes, you may have the perfect manual. But then you've got to take into the consideration how many hours you've spent doing it versus what you're going to sell it for. Um, and so you'd probably be on pence per hour by the end of it all. And fuck working like that. There's a good enough ratio in this. Right, so... God for print screen. I should cut out a lot. Bing. Bing bong. So, don't dump it in there. There. Get that box close. And get rid of that as well. File. Save as. JPEG. Three. Save. Shrink. Find page three. Dump in here. Make large, make large, and then make fit. So we've got the borders at the top now. So to make it roughly the right size, and the page number. So this is a what page? This is a right hand page. So we shunt it over this way a bit more. 
and then we oh, shrink it down a little bit so that that is between these two lines. And then when you flick between the two pages, like this, you notice that that one and that two slash four will be mirrored. There'll be, you know, a matching, they'll be in line, that's what I'm trying to say, in line, Dan, well done. Me writes books. Me is good with that English. So, I'm not even going to edit that. Actually, if I make it black and white right now, what, what happens, out of curiosity? Uh, mm, that's mode, black and white. What do we get? How clear is it? Uh, it highlights all that shit. Okay, let's do, so it's to hi Yeah, see you know what I mean about it? I mean, some of it's a little bit, a little bit blurry. Let's actually open the film manual and have a look. Yeah, they are actually quite clear, aren't they? Pain in the arse. Let's see if this one will work. Uh, just out of curiosity, so just writing. So, whoa, right. Uh, so, let's go. Which way is it? Well, so, contrast. Contrast to the background. Put it up to full. Get as white shit as possible. We start to lose the crispness of the letters. That's a bit. Mm, no, it's not, because you're losing the I think they're numbers, aren't they, down there? Yeah, well, they don't come up in the scan very well. Let's hit OK, and then try it. Let's just, if it doesn't, we'll carry on the way we're doing it. Ah! Let's jump back. What's better? That or that? Yeah, let's leave it like that. Okay, so this is going to be a very lazy way of doing this one, but relatively quick, I guess. I mean, that is it. I'm literally just screenshotting, clipping around it using the clipping tool of the screenshot program, which some has appeared from somewhere. Uh, I don't know whether Windows update or what, but it's quite handy. Saving as a JPEG, drag and dump into the folder, line up in the margins. Do that for all the pages. Work out if you have the right amount of pages. Add in, what have we got? 86. So, after 86, insert the page. That's the inside back cover. Insert after that. 88 is 88 divisible by 4, I believe it is. Not even going to. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. 10, 10 fours being 40, 20 fours being 80. Two more being 88. Yeah, so that would be the right amount. You couldn't have 90 pages, you couldn't have 86 pages. It's just not how it works. Um, and then you would file, save as published PDF. You give it its nail name, TM11 slash 235. And then you've got a printable document. So you've got, you would count it for bleed margins, which is that line on the edge, and there's three mil either side, because that's what they recommend with paperbacks, hardbacks is a bit different. Uh, it will need a separate file for a spine. So we don't have the spine picture, so we'll have to improvise it a little bit and look at the BC1000 manual, look at all the other manuals, compare the dates, because the type of spine changes later on, the text, the layout changes, so we want to Either find a picture of one, which can be done, you can find them on eBay and things for sale, or the ones that have sold. Is that worth point or worthless website, as I call it, that shows you manuals and well, all military? But find one, copy it, uh, and then you just make two files. You make the main file and you make a file called Spine. And when you send it to the printers, that's it, job done. Tell them how many you need. Easy, simple. Then that's it. Then we need more. Tell them to print more. But there's nothing, nothing difficult about this. Um, obviously, you'll need a copy of Coral Draw, which can sting you for a few quid, but you think of it as investment because you will get the money back eventually. It's, you know, 
inevitable really. I've proven that one. I've played for a coral draw a thousand times over. You can do everything in it you need to do. You really can. I'm going to save this. I'm going to come back to it. You've seen everything you need to see. I believe any questions you can ping me messages and I will try and talk you through things. Um, don't try calling me on Facebook. I do not answer. I don't even answer phone calls from anybody, even if I know you. I just don't do phone calls. Email, text. Um, you can send me a WhatsApp screenshot and I will explain. I can send you voice messages. I can record things for you. Don't phone me. I won't answer. Um, anybody. Just, I just don't do phone calls. Yeah, I'm weird. Don't care. Right. What are we at recording wise? I can't even see. I've got things open everywhere. That's another hour. My God. Right. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to probably play a game or something to chill for a minute. Get some food. And I might continue filming this day later so you have more of an idea of the random shit that I do. If I just do this, I won't bother filming it. You've seen it. It's not exciting. Uh, if I do something else, then I might. Anyway, it gives you a snapshot of what I do in a day. Thrilling, right? But it's better than making somebody else rich. Anyway, hope you're all good. Enjoy the hobby. <clears throat> oh, God. Smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button and all that other bullshit. Oh, uh, I, I won't mention this recent subbers now because chances are nobody's going to see it. If you've got this far, <laughs> you really need to get out more. <laughs> My God. Anyway, see you at the shows. See you around. Later.